In this video, you'll learn how to create a game inside the Unreal Editor for Fortnite using animations, custom player models and a little bit of verse code. The model used in this video has been proven to work, and is in the description but feel free to use your own model if you'd like. All verse code in this video was created by Warbeck Warforge, and can also be found in the description so make sure to subscribe and watch his videos for a more in-depth look at the verse code used in this tutorial. Okay, got your crucible out to pray to god for verse to work? Good, now let's get started. First things first is to create a folder for imports, and then inside of that, a folder simply named fish. Then, head into the video description and install the low poly fish model by Dennis Almeral. Make sure to download the .fbx file, otherwise it won't work. Extract the file and import everything into UEFN. Afterwards, click into the material function created when you imported the model and delete the only connected node, and finally, drag the very blurry fish texture into the material node area and connect it to the base color. If you want more information on materials, check out my other guides called UEFN Basics. You can now close the material UI and drag the fish out to see it with textures. Here's the part of the video where things get a little complicated. Right click anywhere in the context browser, and create a blueprint class and select building prop and name that fish too. Next up, click into the blueprint and add a skeletal mesh, selecting the mesh of the fish which we've imported. Now compile and exit the blueprint, and drag it into our world. Then create two level sequences, naming them idle anime and run anime. Double click one and track, act it to sequence and select the blueprint class. Then press the little white plus and click animation. Now choose the animation corresponding to the name of your sequence, and do the same to the other sequence. To call the animations in verse, we'll need two cinematic sequence devices. Drag both out and name them run anime and idle anime and select the sequence which corresponds to its name in the device's details panel. Phew, that was a lot of work. But we're getting nearly there with setting things up now, so it's time to begin using verse. Click the verse tab at the top of your screen and select verse explorer. You'll need visual studio for this next step, so make sure to install it. Left click where it says the name of your project and choose the add new verse file to project button. Then name your new verse script whatever you'd like. Double click the name of your script and it'll open the visual studio UI. So let's get started. First of all, delete all the starter code which you're given and head over to the YouTube link in the description. This will take you to Wallbeck Warforge's YouTube channel. After subscribing to it, follow the GitHub link and copy all the code. Then paste it all inside our verse. Then, head back into UEFN and find the name of the skeletal mesh you imported and copy it. Reopen verse and replace any parts of the code that say FG char with the name of your skeletal mesh. Afterwards, save and go back to UEFN. Press the verse button at the top of your screen again, and press build verse code. If done correctly, a new folder in the content browser will appear called Creative Devices. In the details panel, it'll need you to select the idle, run and skeletal mesh. We're now done with verse, wasn't so hard, was it? To check it works, launch a session and start the game, to see your fish. Now just as a heads up, you'll have to play around with the rotation, placement and scale of the fish to make it look right, but after that, we're done with all verse code. Now we can start the fun stuff. Start by creating a landscape or arena similar to the one on screen, with an area for the player to spawn and upgrade their stats. Now we've gotta download some assets, you can find them in the description below. Import them and then add two empty surfaces for the images to go onto. These are your shop and upgrade icons. Then put the shipwreck mesh that you installed underneath both of them and disable the shadows on the sign. Now we can have some fun. Launch a session and decorate your map. Make sure to put lots of effort into this part as it'll make or break your map.
Okay, so you've created your map, custom player model and don't know what to do next. Well, play around with what to do with mechanics, and watch some tutorials on how they work. I'm not going to cover how to make mechanics in this video, because there is so much to explain, but feel free to watch some other tutorials and come back once you've figured it out. I'll make sure to leave some basic mechanics tutorials in the description below. If you really want to, you can copy some of my mechanics which I'm creating here, but you'll have to pause to be able to copy it all down. Alright, we're nearly done now. Let's add back our water by searching elemental in the content drawer and choosing a water style we like, and scale it up appropriately as I'm doing here. Now for the final step. Grab a post-process volume and mess around with the settings until you reach a look which you're happy with. Now all that's left to do is hit test and begin to play your new game. Ready? Oh. You're still here? Thanks for watching this video and if you've got any suggestions for future videos, then leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video then please make sure to subscribe and use code partially creative with no e on the end in the Fortnite shop or when making a purchase on the Epic Games store. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.